It's a fisherman's dream catching an 800 pound grouper and then cooking it up for dinner. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach tells us the reason this fisherman's dream actually could be a reality for the first time in 30 years. That's a big fish. Tipping the scales at 800 pounds and eight feet long, the Goliath grouper sure is a sight to see. It comes up and it looks like, you know, a, a Volkswagen bug. The fish, as large as a grizzly bear, can be spotted across Pinellas County. They're littered with them. That's a giant, dude. But as amazing as they are, these sea blimps are costing charter fishermen like Eric Yeager and Dylan Hubbard a lot of money. A lot of areas, there's so many Goliath you can't fish there because the Goliaths are going to eat whatever you hook. With a mouth this big, they can just about inhale everything, even a shark. The fish are gobbling up fishermen's profits. That's one reason FWC is considering a new limited catch, allowing you to keep one of these humongous fish right, guys, instead of being forced fish. to release it back into the ocean. That doesn't sit well with diver Teresa Hathaway. You can get the picture and, it, and then somebody else can get the picture. But if you harvest it, it's gone. She shows the amazing fish to divers from around the globe. People come visit Florida just to see the Goliath grouper. Hadaway worries the fish will be over harvested. It's a heated debate across Florida, and that's why FWC wants to hear from you. One idea is to start an annual lottery for the massive groupers, allowing just 100 permits at $300 a piece. The youngest and biggest groupers would be off limits. Jaeger says he'd be first in line to snag the catch of a lifetime. Let's go get him. In Pinellas County, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck. My fishing life is complete. ABC Action News.